going to be my July favorites and I haven't filmed a favorites video in like three months I think. I think the last one I did was like February. May have been March. I could be wrong though. It might be February. Um, but that's just because I haven't had any favorites that like I really haven't like found any new favorites. I'm trying to go back through my old makeup and kind of use some of that stuff up. Um, but the month of July was jam-packed busy for me. I had so much to do and even through like this first week of August which is hence why this video is going up now. I had just had so much to do. Sorry if I sound a little nasally. Um, I am getting over a huge cold that I had or whatever I was having. I don't know what it was. Um, and it's just been lasting for like two weeks now and I still can't breathe, but I'm decided that I filmed this video. So please pardon my nasal congestion. I'm gonna try to talk through this and hopefully it sounds perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do my July favorites and if you would like to see what I'm loving for July, then keep on watching. So this first product is a product that I was not really um, into when the whole hype came about. It's the Baby Lips. And I didn't, I had one. I, well, okay, here, let's rephrase that. I was into them. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna go get one. I got one and I think it's in the color, it's like the purple tube and it's got it's like a light pink mauve color. It's, I want to say it's peach fizz or peach fuzz or peach I don't know. But um, it's one of those. And I hated the way it made me feel. It was all grainy and everything. So I was like to so totally turned off by them. And I did not see what everybody loved about them. I didn't even really get that much color payoff from that like, one. I will go pick one of these up. Try it again. So I found this really red color. It's really nice. It's really pretty color. Hoping you can see it. Um like that and it's the color cherry me and it's just a really nice pretty pink dark pink color it almost it looks way darker in the tube than how it actually really appears which is what people were saying they were saying that these come off a lot more sheer than what they really look but you can build them up um I have it on my lips right now I've been loving it um it's super smooth not like my other ones so I guess I just got a bad one and I'm definitely going to willing to try the more of these out um but for the month of July I've been loving this color just swipe it on Throw up my purse. favorite is one that I just mentioned, and it is the Maybelline Rocket. I am still loving this mascara. It's still my favorite, hands down. Um, I will link my mascara tutorial that I did um, to this video, and it's using the Maybelline Rocket to show you how it works. Not that you probably don't know how it already works, because it's talked about here on YouTube like crazy, or it was. Um, but for some reason, I just cannot get away from this mascara. I don't know why. I've tried other things. I've gone back to other mascaras, and I just... I love this mascara so much that I am can't stop using it. So until I find something different, this will probably be my mascara. I've been loving that for the month this of July. This next thing came in a kit. I got this off Hot Look, Hot Look, Oat Look, whatever. Um, it was when um, Elf was on there. And it came in a set of mineral, mineral eyeshadows. And I was like, alright. I was like, you know what, I'll try them, whatever. They seem cool. It was like $3 for like a set of three. And um, so for, I was like, for a dollar a piece, I was like, okay. So one of these colors came in there, and I have been loving this color hands down. It's on my lids right now. Um, it's the color that I've been pretty much wearing, honestly, I can seriously say the month of July. It's always been on my lids, or it's been underneath my eyes, or something like that. So it's in the color Elegant, and if you've watched my... My latest tutorial, the prom or fancy makeup tutorial, I used it on my model Maddie. And um, I show you a swatch of it in there, or you see it on her. Um, it's just a really pretty golden sh or silver champagne color. Um, it, it The pigmentation is insane for a, for pretty much like a dollar. Um, if You can see that in there. Hoping it'll focus and pick it up. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just, it's so pretty. I highly recommend this I color. definitely keep your eyes out looking for um, this color on there. Or if you can find it at like Target. I don't know if you can find it at Target. Um, but if you can find it on their website, I will link it down below for you guys. And well. my next favorite has been my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And unfortunately, this month of July, I cracked it. <laughs> um, it is shattered. But, you know, it still works. Um, it keeps me matte. And I can just take this in with me and just kind of like throw it on my face whenever I feel like I'm getting oily. I've been taking this with me and throwing it in the car. Hence why it probably broke. Um, but I've been loving this. Um, it's just in the color 001 Transparent. My next product is this little tiny sample of a face setting powder. And it's from Tarte. And it's the Smooth Operator. 
um, Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I have been using this to put under my, to set my um, under eye concealer. I had a huge problem with it creasing on me all the time. I didn't know what it was from. Um, and I actually tried using different powders to set it and everything like that. And then I found this one. This came in the Carried Away palette. Um, they got it around Christmas time. Um, it was the one that was like limited edition, I think. It worked like nothing. Like it's worked amazingly. I'm almost like I saved best for last, but I wish I would have found this first. That way I didn't have to go through so many powders in my makeup collection. You know, just take a little brush in it, dab it on um, under my eyes, over my concealer, and call it a day. And I'm good and I'm creaseless for the day. <laughs> and my next favorite has been my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I have been loving this palette. So I have been loving one color, like hands down, and that's definitely um, been Naked too. This one right here. And I've just been using that elegant color on my lid and then blending Naked 2 all throughout the crease and just calling it like my go-to look for um, the month of July. If I want something a little bit darker or I want to darken it up, I usually add Faint to it and sometimes I'll add um, Creep. Oh, what is that? Crave. Sorry, Crave. Um, I'll add that to it. I mean, whatever. But Urban Decay Naked Basics palette has been my hands-down go-to basically my my eyeshadow for the month of July I have used this pretty much every day so I love that for the month my next of July. thing has been a purchase a new recent purchase for me um, you guys know I love my Laguna bronzer and I've never repurchased it because I've been trying out different bronzers drugstore bronzers trying to find something a little bit cheaper on that end um, and everybody was talking about the NYC smooth skin bronzer in the color sunny I usually just use it to contour with um, it's a completely matte bronzer which is really nice that I can let it so I can contour with it um, it was two dollars two ninety nine or something like that from CVS um, so this has been a serious new fave for the month of July and at the end of the day when I'm tired and I'm ready to take off all my makeup um, I have been using my clean Express Maybelline makeup remover this thing is like a God's gift in a little pink bottle because this takes off any makeup that I have on my eyes. Um, I use it just for my eyes because then I use like my facial wash and everything like that to take off my face makeup. But if I'm wearing um, waterproof mascara, I hate waterproof mascara, but I've been wearing it lately because I've been sweating a lot more um, in the month of July. Summer hit me <laughs> in the state of Florida and it is freaking hot. Um, so my mascara tends to get like all the way up here. So I've been wearing waterproof mascara and this takes off waterproof mascara like nobody's business you just you even need like the tiniest amount this is I didn't even use that much in the month of July um I use you only need like a drop and then let it sit on your eye and then smear it off and you're calling it good and it takes off my waterproof mascara it takes off my waterproof eyeliner wet and wild liquid eyeliner in H2O which is the waterproof version nothing gets that like that eyeliner off ever except for this bad boy right here so I have been loving this guy. And my first random favorite has been my cell phone case that I was carrying through the month of June and July, I think, or maybe it was just July. No, it was just July because I got it on like July 2nd or whatever before the 4th of July. So I was in Charlotte Ruse and I actually found these really cute cell phone cases and this is just mine that I picked up. They had so many different colors. They had so many different kinds. Um, and all of them were $10, but this is the one that I picked up, so I've been loving that for the month of July. Um, I finally took it off and replaced it to this little black one that I have. Um, it's just, it makes it so much more thin. Um, I forgot how thin my cell phone really was when I had this case on it. Don't get me wrong, I love this case, I'll still use this case, but I change my cell phone cases like... Pretty much, I try to change them once a month. Sometimes I get a little crazy and I change them more than once a month. Um, so I have to rebuild my cell phone case since I went from the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 5. So I'm rebuilding cell phone cases and buying new cases, but this was my favorite for the month of July. <laughs>